Welcome again to Tiger Carpenter. Uh, today's video is totally different from my usual projects because it's not woodworking, it's not metalworking. It touches a little bit on the engineering. So, the, so what is the problem today? After almost 15 years of using my bicycle, <coughs> I wanted to go for a ride and what I realized uh, is that we want the free hub to, to rotate to the left but we don't want the free hub to rotate to the right and it is which is the problem here that's why I could not use my bicycle okay so the first thing I'm using the key 16 and I'm going to open the wheel now we pull the gear tightener and take the chain off okay the wheel is out the next thing we are going to do will be removing the gear so that we can get gain access to the free hub for that i will be using this tool Let's remove this nut so that we can push this tool. Okay, so we have the tool. I'm going to tighten it up with that nut so that it doesn't come out. Okay. maybe it's coming out hopefully okay so we've got this here Okay, I can pull the gears. Okay. So we have nine ball bearings. Yep, I think spraying WD-40 inside might fix it because it will dissolve the grease that is probably old and dry inside and the pedals are sticking to the, to the cylinder and then that's why the hub can rotate in both directions. I'm always using white lithium grease when I have this kind of problems with other machines. And once I spray it, I just leave it for 10 minutes and let the white lith lithium grease work. It's now no longer turning to the right, which means the pedals inside unstuck themselves. Uh, this white lithium grease dissolved the old grease, the old dry grease, and the clutches popped out. You can see now the free hub is no longer turning to the right. Okay, so now I'm removing 
the, the axis. Now you can see the bearings on this side. Now I can see the grease is already becoming more liquid and that's why the free hub is engaging more often when I turn it to the right. Now that we remove the axis, I will blow the white lithium grease on the angle and under pressure will hopefully unglue the remaining clutches. It's looking good. So here are the ball bearings after I wash them with the soap and another treatment of white lithium grease. So let's do the final test and see if we are ready to assemble it. I let the white lithium grease to work and penetrate for about 10 minutes now. So to make it perform a bit better and longer, here I have the high temperature engine grease. So I'm going to put it in the channel, in the groove. Toyo grease. Let's put the ball bearings in the channel. I'm going to add some more on the top. Okay, so I separated this cover the bearings already in with the high temperature grease and push this one in okay so here come the gears okay one is wider so we have to look for the widest okay it found itself So the gears are spinning, are spinning freely to the left and to the right. They will be pulling my bicycle. Yet yeah, should be threaded. Okay. Correct. It is threaded. So now we can tighten it. easy now because now the free hub is not turning to the right I'm going to add some more grease I put it back together as you can see the gears can turn to the left and they cannot turn to the right so it's now time to put it back okay Quick test and I can propel the wheel, wow, and when I turn it the other way and I can see the wheel is nicely centered, I will take it for a test ride when it stops raining. Once again, propelling. And the free gear.
So I didn't have to send my bicycle to the bike repair shop and it works. Okay, job done. <laughs>